welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and as you guys can see from the title, today's video is going to be three healthy snack ideas. So I'm going to share with you guys three healthy snacks that are really easy and quick to make and are delicious. So I'm going to be filming two of them today. Right now I'm going to make one and then later on tonight I will make the other one just because the second one does have to sit in the fridge overnight. So the first one is just going to be some rice cakes. So I'm going to be using these wild rice organic rice cakes. They are lightly salted and gluten free and vegan free. So I usually buy the thin ones. They have ones that are like thin but my grocery store was out so I just got the regular ones. And then the macros on this is 60 calories for each cake. It has 14 grams of carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, and zero grams of sugar. So I'll be using two of these. I also will be using some of this Simple Truth Organic Almond Butter. I like the Justin's a little better, but my grocery store was out of the Justin's one. So I just grabbed this one. And then I'll also be putting some blueberries. So I have these um, organic blueberries. And then I also have some strawberries. I'm going to pull out the fridge and also put on my rice cakes as well as sprinkle some cinnamon. So I'll show you guys how it looks once I'm done. It's super delicious and like I said, really quick to make. So let's go ahead and make the first snack. All right, you guys, so for your first healthy snack, you are going to need any type of rice cake you would like. You will also need some type of almond butter, fruit of your choice, and then cinnamon. You don't need the cinnamon, but I really like cinnamon, so I usually always sprinkle cinnamon on pretty much everything. So this is probably the easiest and quickest little healthy snack that you guys can make for yourself or your kids. So I usually eat two of them. So I grabbed two rice cakes and then I went ahead and spread a little bit of almond butter on both of them. I usually don't ever measure it out. You can measure it out if you would like, if you guys are counting like your calories or macros. But honestly, I just eyeball it. I put some almond butter on top of my rice cakes and then I will sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on the rice cakes. That is optional. You don't have to, but I just really love cinnamon. So I sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon and then on one of the rice cakes, I will put the blueberries. And then on the second one, I will slice up some strawberries and add the strawberries on to the second one. And you can use any fruit you would like. You can combine the fruit. You can put the strawberries and blueberries on one, or you can do what I did and do one strawberry, one blueberry. The options are endless. You can just choose what you prefer. So this is my first snack I want to share with you guys. So it is two of those rice cakes. Both of them have some almond butter and then I sprinkled cinnamon on top. This one has some blueberries and then this one just has a few strawberries. So this is first snack I want to share with you guys that is healthy and also delicious. So my next healthy little snack for you guys is going to be this chia pudding. So this is another really quick and easy, simple, healthy little snack that you can make for you or your little ones. So I'm going to measure out three tablespoons of my chia seeds and put it in a glass little mason jar. Then I'm going to add half a cup of almond milk. You can use any almond milk or coconut milk, regular milk, whatever milk you guys use you can use that i'm just using almond milk because i can't have dairy like regular milk and then i'm going to add a little bit of stevia i suggest only doing like one or two little squirts of the stevia i actually put three on accident and it was way too sweet so i would suggest maybe one or two um, squirts of your stevia then i am going to add a little bit of almond butter so this chia seed recipe is going to be like a banana almond butter chocolate one i have a few other recipes making these little puddings if you guys are interested i can share the other ones but this one I'm going to add one tablespoon of almond butter I'm also going to add like a little tiny handful of dark chocolate cacao um in it and then I'm going to just stir it up I'm also going to be adding granola and banana but I'm going to add that all the way at the end you put this in the refrigerator overnight the next morning I woke up and I just sliced up some fresh bananas and I placed that on top of my pudding I actually didn't use the entire half I used a little bit less than half and then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the granola on top. You can totally do the granola and the banana when you guys do it like overnight. But I like my granola to be like nice and crunchy when I'm eating it. So that is why I did it in the morning. And this is how it turns out. It is really good and delicious and super healthy. 
And my third healthy snack is going to be these little yogurt barks. I found this idea on Pinterest. So you're gonna need some yogurt, fruit, granola, and also maple syrup. You guys can use any yogurt you would like, any fruit. I'm just going with the YQ protein yogurt just because I wanted to get some extra protein in. And I'm just gonna use the entire little canister of this yogurt. The yogurt was in the raspberry brand and or raspberry flavor. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of maple syrup. You can use honey or you can just choose not to use any of it but I decided to use a little bit of this maple syrup I didn't even fill my entire spoon up I only filled it a little bit up then I'm gonna mix that in with the yogurt really well and once it's all combined I'll put some parchment paper in this little glass bowl I will pour all the yogurt into this bowl and then I'm gonna place some granola blueberries and strawberries on top and then I'm gonna freeze it for about two to three hours. And once it is completely frozen, you can take it out the freezer and just break them up to bite pieces. And you guys can use, like I said, any type of yogurt you guys prefer. You can use a flavored one, you can use a plain yogurt, and that goes with the fruit as well. You can use any type of fruit you would like. You can use granola, coconut. I've even done sometimes sprinkle a little bit of coconut on top. The options are endless when you're making these little yogurt barks. My kids really love it and it's a really great healthy snack. I also sometimes will eat this in the morning if I'm running late I don't have time to make breakfast. I will just grab a few pieces that are in the freezer and I will eat them just so I can have something in my stomach. And this is how it's going to look once you are completely done putting everything in there. And then now it is about two to three hours later, it is frozen. So now I'm just gonna break them up into pieces. They don't have to be perfect squares or perfect sizes. They are all like different sizes. So I just broke it up to a few pieces and then I placed it back in this little um, container and then I put it back in the freezer. And anytime I would like some, I have some already pre-made in the freezer. I like to make big batches, but on this day I just made a small one. And this is the end result on how it looks it is so delicious i love this this is probably my go-to snack most of the time i love snacking on like frozen fruit so this is great all right guys so that is going to end my three healthy snack ideas for you guys so i shared with you guys three different snacks that i personally like and i feel like are pretty healthy in my opinion so I hope you guys enjoyed these three healthy snacks. I'm thinking about maybe filming another one because I have a ton of different other snacks that I like to eat and that I feel like are also healthy. So if you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments and also give this video a thumbs up and that'll let me know that you guys would like more of these types of videos. I did also film a what I eat in a day and I wouldn't really call it exactly super healthy. I'm gonna say healthy-ish. I'm not sure what my title it, but I did film a what I eat in a day. So that'll be up in another week or so. And then I'm also thinking about maybe doing um, three healthy lunch ideas. I'm not sure. Just let me know how you guys feel about these types of videos. And if you enjoy it, then maybe I can start filming some more of them. I hope you guys found some ideas for yourself or your little ones. My kids like a lot of these snacks that I made. They actually like all three of them. So if you guys have little ones, definitely try these out with them as well. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.